All right, Shabbat Shalom. Here's my poopy again, doing his business while I'm trying to get ready for my business. <laughs> All right, so we have where's my baby at. We get we're ready for Shabbat. Everyone's coming down. I uh, just got news of um, some things that are going on in the freeway and stuff, but so everyone's coming. But while we're getting uh, waiting for everyone and we're ready, pretty much ready, waiting for the holla to get up here. Woo, holla! There's a, a, a certain kind of bread that we eat during Shabbat. And it's called challah bread. And uh, there's another uh, meaning of challah uh, <laughs> for, for us to group in the city, but that's another story. Um, we say challah bread. The bread's hollering at you. My puppy's over there anyway. So I hope you've all been blessed this week. I haven't posted anything for the last two days. We've been really busy and trying to get things done at work and get things set up over here. I have um, two, uh, two of my children are in college. And um, one of my children's in college and high school, and he's graduating high school and, and continuing on with college. So we have a lot of things we're doing with our children. And um, above all things, we put our father first and then our family. So our children are very important to us. Well, we're trying to celebrate their accomplishments with them uh, the best we can and then get them to self-learn as well. Not just the stuff they teach in school, but the stuff that they need to know to um, continue learning. Learning things of, that are going to uh, strengthen them in spirit and in health and in wealth and all, all those things. Uh, but my wife's done a really good job with our children, so I'm not too worried about that. But I just got to make sure I'm spending time with them because uh, I'm always uh, away from them. Not always, but I'm, I'm away from them a lot at work. And uh, I want to just take time to to just share who I am with them and get to know who they are. Because there's, there's a lot of things that I've been learning. Um, and a lot of it's a lot of men uh, and, and some moms nowadays, they... They work so much, they spend so much of their time doing so many different things, their children really don't know them. And who's raising your children? Is it the school? Is it the other children around them? Is it um, other people who are watching them? Who, who's, who's inputting into your children's life, into their, their, um, their demeanor, the way they think, the way they approach things, um, the way they see life, the way they see the world? What, what's really going on? We've got to make sure that we're establishing principles and truth we're, we're, we're teaching them how to ha have um, kindness and generosity and all these things. And so as we're getting ready for this Torah portion, we co we're coming to a, a sad but uh, exciting life of our patriarch, uh, Jacob and Joseph. So in this Torah portion that we're going to be talking about in this, this uh, today's Torah portion, um, Joseph uh, is, has to bury his father and then uh, his brothers have to bury him. And they take, um, they take the body of Jacob back to the promised land um back back to the um to the same burial site or same grave site that uh abraham and isaac and uh um and sarah were buried at and so this place that was bought and purchased by abraham he's telling him take me back there and uh place my body and, and my bones inside there and jacob is honored by his son joseph and that 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 does come true and then joseph tells his brothers the same thing you know that you won't always be here in this land of egypt but when you do go back make sure you take my bones with you so he knew some things uh that were going to happen in the future sorry about the moving around but he understood certain things that must happen and uh i really believe that there's some things that that were coming but the most important thing or one of the most important things that i've seen in this torah portion and i'm not sure if many see it but uh jacob starts to talk to his children and he starts to uh, unveil their who they are. He starts to tell them who they are, and he starts to give a little bit of rebuke uh, for the elders, you know, for what they did, uh, um, Reuben and and um, Len Levy, and uh, with the things, that, the the atrocities that they did. One was really wanted power and try to take over um, the authority of his of his father Jacob by taking in, um, control of the harem and the things that he did. There were um, they were perverted. Uh, they were um, disgraceful and there were there's just things that he brought up and that's why reuben was the oldest but the kingship was was taken away from him because of the things he did uh, and levi was was uh the one who um him and his other brother they, they they went and they deceived the people and they killed a bunch of innocent people because of something that happened with their sister that one man did this one man raped the, um their, his sister and or their sister and then they went back and they 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 um they used deceit and we're not supposed to use deceit and they use deceit to conquer these people and he killed a lot of innocent people yeah they should have punished the one that did it but they went way beyond what they should have done and they brought a reproach into their, their father 
and a shame. And so they were not given um, that right either. And so what we see though, is we see something very, very interesting. And a lot of times it's like maybe these things had to happen because of what happened to Judah. What happened to the bloodline? What happened to the kingship? What happened to all these things? And one thing that, that we're going to really focus on is, is the scepter of the lion. The scepter of the lion and who, who rightly has the authority in the kingdom uh, and, and the throne of the, of the kingdom of Israel. And uh, it has to be our Mashiach. It has to be our Yeshua, uh, Jesus. He's the one who sits on the throne. He rightfully is an heir of David and all the way back into Judah. He is why they say he's the king of the Jews, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah was given the, the scepter of power and authority and the kingship by his, by his father, Jacob. Proclaimed and nobody challenged that. None of his brothers challenged it. They all accepted it and they're pretty much following him already. He was the one who would, when he would walk onto a battlefield, and everybody knew it was over. The war would be won because Judah was getting ready to fight. And the beautiful thing about the name Judah, it means to praise. It means to praise. So Judah's praise, when he walked into warfare, his praise was so violent. His praise was so loud. His praise was so mighty. His praise was so awesome. The ground was shaking. The people would, would shake. And all kinds of things would happen because the seed of the Mishak was inside of him. And no all will bow down to the lion. That's, there's one reason um, that, you know, in the animal kingdom, the, the lion is known as the king of the jungle. He's the king that's out there and nobody uh, hunts the lion. And so we see that Judah, his, his, his tribal banner, it has a picture of a lion on it, a picture of the king uh, the, and the king that, that has come and the king, king that's coming back again. He had a scepter of power and uh, he, he held back his wrath. He held back the, the warfare. And he brought in a praise, he brought in, he brought in mercy, he brought in forgiveness, he brought in all this stuff. But when he comes back again, he's using the other side of that authority that he has. And the scepter of the lion will be shown for what it is. He has all power, he has all glory, he has all judgment, and he has all that we, that we have uh, um, ever imagined that he will be. All his splendor and all his awesomeness. And when this world gathers together, go read the scriptures and it says the world will gather together to make war with Elohim. When they dare do that, the scepter of the lion is going to show up and he's going to have a sword in his hand this time. No longer will he be taken to the stake and crucified. No longer will, be, will he be taken to the tree and crucified. But this time he's coming with the sword. This time he's coming with all of his authority and all of his might. And... um. We, as his children, we are a part of that line of, 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 um, of his bloodline. We're part of that, that rejoicing, that praise, that Judah. And as we understand it, when we praise, when we get together and we worship and we sing and we, we celebrate him and all our salvation that he's given us and all that he's done for us, we need to do it with all that we have like Judah did and just praise and shout and you know make our neighbors like what's going on over there you know a bunch of crazy people the world's out there and they got their music loud and they're dancing and they're shouting and they're getting crazy and they're getting drunk and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and they're getting violent well you know what it's time for us to outdo the world and we can out shout them we can put our music just as loud and we can dance and we don't need to be drunk to do it we can do it with our right mind and be sober and understanding that our king is coming our king is coming and we had our salvation it's time to celebrate it's time to rejoice it's time to be glad and so this celebration this Torah portion the scepter has been given to the lion has been given to Judah has been given to to praise has been given to that shout and when the lion shouts I think we all need to shout with them <laughs> so the enemy's gonna fear you know there's a song where it talks about um, through the name of Yeshua of Jesus fear is silenced and if you want fear to be silenced you get into a place where you're afraid of something or something's going on you're going through a trial you're going through i don't care what it is people are talking bad about you the bills are coming you, you just lost your job you lost a love and something bad going on in your life it's time for you to shout it's time for you to take that scepter of the lion it's time for you to praise him and that fear that's in you has to flee it has to flee it's time for us to start praising the father start being the 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 the, the, the lineage of that lion of the tribe of judah of that 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 throne that power, that authority that we have because it's been given to us. It's been given to us rightfully by us. But when we were born again, we're forgiven of our sins by that blood. We're being given mercy and grace. And all we got to do is show everyone in this world that we belong to him by living a righteous life according to his scriptures. And as we do that and we go through things, we go through trials, 
we go through it with him and he's with us some things that are that are tied up in this Torah portion that are so awesome and we're going to speak on them today so hopefully you're all blessed out there you're celebrating Shabbat somewhere you're somewhere with your scriptures you're somewhere with your family you're somewhere with our king and your heart is there is there listening to him because if you want wisdom you want understanding sometimes you got to get silent and listen to what the king has to say and once you understand once you will you, you accepted that gift then it's time to praise and rejoice over what he just gave you if it was, I don't care if it's peace, if the financial blessing, he's healed you. He's, he's, he's healed your, mended your broken heart, whatever it is. Start to praise him and praise him right now. And I don't care who's around, you need to shout, don't be embarrassed. The Father has done something for you. I tell you one thing, when he shows up and he, come, he comes down here, when he comes here and he shows up, are you going to be ashamed? <laughs> I'm not. We're going to praise him. We're going to rejoice. Whew, we might even have a little bit of... Oh man, well, check yourself real quick. I'm not walking in sin. Are you? All right, check yourself. Check yourself now. You don't want to be checking yourself then. So check yourself now. You know, like the scripture says, oh, 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 Elohim, you know, search in me. Search my heart. And if there's anything that's not of you, any darkness that's there, remove it. Remove it from me. And the shame is not for him finding things in there and removing it. The shame is for us to know that things are there and for us to keep them. All right. Well, I'm going to get in there. We're going to start getting the music going. We're going to get ready. We're going to shout. We're going to praise. We're going to sing. We're going to dance. We're going to have a good old time. All right. So be blessed, and I hope to see you all soon. Shalom.